Hey guys, what is up? We are uh, in the warehouse and we're going over some limited edition retail arbitrage investments. So things that are gonna be produced over the summer or, or coming out soon that we can buy. And then once they are no longer being produced, we can sell them to people at a premium because there's no more left. This is the essence of retail arbitrage. You buy when the market says these are undervalued uh, and you sell them at their correct value. Products get distributed more effectively amongst consumers and for doing your part, you can make some money off of it. Let's get started. The first product that we have comes from The Verge. It's the Teenage Engineering Limited Edition Rick and Morty Pocket Synthesizer to help you create Rick and Morty lo-fi, which is very popular on the, uh, on the internet right now. The basic idea is that this company made this sound thing. You don't have to really know what it is. You just have to know that it's one, limited edition. Two, it's Rick and Morty themed. Those two things equal money. There's so many Rick and Morty fans and there's so many people who like to make music that it doesn't take a genius to figure out that they're making too few of these. They're gonna make not enough to satisfy the demand, you know, <laughs> in perpetuity. They're just not going to. Uh, it's selling for between $49 and $89. The newest season starts in November, so what they're doing is they're selling them online in July. So what I assume is going to happen is they're going to have a, a product crunch probably after they, uh, they're, they're made, after they're made. And then November, what is that just before, hmm? It's before Christmas! It's, it's right in the thick of Q4. And so, is there gonna be a, a demand for these? If they can't sell them in stores, or if the stores that have them run out, where are people gonna buy them? They're gonna buy them online, right? So, it makes sense for us to buy these at, you know, 49 bucks, at 89 bucks, whatever the price is, and then generally, my rule of thumb is I double the price. I wanna make back my money. So, uh, you know, with fees and everything, something I would buy for 50 bucks, I'd sell for around like 120, depending on the size. Uh, and that works out pretty good for me. Even items like the Tamagotchis that happened last year, even though those were selling, what happened is, is they ended up rolling the 30th anniversary edition uh, Tamagotchi into the new Tamagotchi. They were the same thing basically, even though the UPC codes were different uh, and the packaging initially was different, they still sell those products. But hey, guess what? If you look online right now, they're selling for a premium. You can still make money off of those. So if you weren't a fool and tank the price, you're gonna make money off of those. You're gonna make money off of this. When a product has a limited edition, when it's uh, the demand inevitably is gonna be more than the supply, you can make money off of that. The next one is pretty similar. It's, uh, it's from Digital Trends, it's the other uh, website. And it's a Fortnite Xbox One, Xbox One S, if you you know you care about that. Uh, the the real value here for people is not the specs on the Xbox. It's that it's purple and it's Fortnite themed. So what you're gonna have is you're gonna have some shithead 12 year old being like, Mom, I need the purple Xbox One, and she's gonna acquiesce to her little shithead kid, and she's gonna buy it. But oh, what if they're all out? Uh, it's, it's retailing for $300. Will this sell for $700 on Amazon? Absolutely it will. It might not sell right away, but again, once they stop making something, the price usually only goes up. And that's because as time goes on, more people like shit, right? And if the demand, or sorry, if the supply is fixed, that's how pricing works. I just sold a PS4 Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse kit bundle thing for $700 a few months ago. 700 bucks. That's a lot of money. Uh, and again, it's because people want them and there are so few left. Think of it like this. I'm being paid to store this new unit in pristine condition. How much am I being paid? Well, it depends how smart I am at finding winners. If these things are too expensive for you, I mean, the Xbox One was almost $300, right? Uh, there's cheaper options, don't worry. This is a Dollar General exclusive. Skittles is making some rare summer flavors, but we only care about one out of the three, right? We care about the freeze pop flavor because they are only 
at Dollar General, and they cost 85 cents for a two ounce bag. Is this gonna make you 100 bucks like the Xbox One flip would? No, of course not. But if my experience tells me anything, come September, come October, when they're no longer making these distinct summer flavors, these are gonna go for a premium. It might be five bucks a bag on eBay, it might be 10 bucks a bag. On Amazon, what you have to worry about is the expiration date because uh, once again, limited edition means once they stop making them, you're only gonna have three or four months maybe on the expiration date. Whereas on eBay, people are a lot more comfortable buying uh, food that is past its best buy date just because if it's candy we all know candy's not gonna get old like oh is the sugar rotting no it's gonna stay that same little little candy ball until the world <coughs> until the world blows up next up kind of another small flip this is a uh, IKEA is selling this is from refinery 29 IKEA is selling limited edition rainbow bags for pride and donating all the profits. Well, guess what? They're not gonna donate our profits, we're gonna keep them. These are going for $3.99. That's how much they're buying for, or selling for, I mean. Uh, people are buying them for that uh, in stores, but once they stop making these, do you know how many people are gonna wanna buy these large, helpful, friendly IKEA bags? They're great, I have them in the warehouse, and there's so many people who identify strongly with LGBTQ stuff that of course they will love to pay a premium to get their hands on this thing that you save for them. Now maybe you believe strongly about this stuff and you want to give them away for free. Okay, that's your prerogative. But what I'm telling you is I can almost guarantee you these would be a good investment. The final one comes from Loudwire. Uh, this is a fun one too. It's a Slayer limited edition Jägermeister bottle and pack, right? So they did a custom thing on the packaging. It's like, uh, what is it? It's the Slayer logo with uh, with like some kind of cool metallic um, embossing maybe. And then the actual bottle has a, a serpent going over the head of a demon reindeer with an eagle perched on top. So kind of a demonic take uh, on Jäger. And <laughs> it's Slayer. What else are they gonna do, right? Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed these money-making tips, I will make more of these videos showing you how to cash in on limited edition products. Let me know in the comments what you liked about the video. Subscribe, all that jazz. And here is a tip from someone who's not me about how to make money doing what they do. Hope you enjoy it. See you guys later. Hey guys, my name is Josh Doyle from Josh Doyle Invest, and I live in Canada. Now, my biggest piece of advice for new entrepreneurs would be to work on your mindset. And the reason why you wanna work on your mindset is that it gives you the ability to get past those dark and tough times in life and in business. Another big reason why you wanna work on your mindset is that it attracts other positive, motivated, driven people into your life. And that in itself can compound and really project, project you through life and through business a lot further and a lot quicker. Guys, I have bad news. I went to the Slayer website, I mean the Jägermeister website, to uh, to buy this, and they're all out, and they were only delivering to the UK. So this one, kind of a bust, and actually, upon reading more of the article, they only made like 500, so this would have sold for a lot more than 10 or $15. Uh, but that just shows you, you gotta, uh, I mean, this article went up on the 23rd, so within five days, they sold them all. You gotta move fast. That's uh, that's the the takeaway from this mistake of mine.